This video is to speak about my life changes because I have got so many, obviously, because I didn't speak with YouTube such a long time ago. Well, I don't know whether someone is looking at this. Oh, my hair is coming off. Okay. <laughs> so, I might be just speaking to my camera and I will be maybe the only one who watches this. But anyway, my life update is so exciting. The first really exciting news and quite a big life change is that my name will change, my family name, because I'm getting married. Yeah! I don't have a ring, as you see, because uh, it was me who asked Mikkel to marry me and he said yes. Just a very beautiful moment, by the way. <clears throat> I have a video of it, but it's so crappy. I mean, the quality is just really bad. Uh, you could say it's artistic because you can only see the legs, our legs, and you can hear how we speak in French and I ask him to marry me and everything. It's on a bridge and it's beautiful, but I was like, okay, the quality is so bad, I won't put it on YouTube. Um, the wedding. The second one is I have mummy friends. I really wanted to have mummy friends for such a long time. I had Calliope for a year and I, I missed it to just have someone to chat with who has the same problems, the same issues, the same joy as me. So I found a Chinese and a Finnish one at the playground, not really near to us. It's not the nearest playground, but I just so someday I will go for further and discover our surrounding. And I found this amazing playground with many international parents, so I was very happy. And has been four months maybe that I'm with friends. I'm now friends with them, so I'm very happy about this. Another one, I had to write like a checklist because uh, I'm so short-minded, I always forget. I kind of get excited and nervous speaking to the camera, so I forget everything. Even though I already foreplayed everything in my head, I just forgot what I wanted to say. So, I'm a stay-at-home mom. This is new, because I've, I've made an internship before, when she was tiny, my baby. And at... I, I don't even know when I stopped it. It was a long-term internship and I stopped it in um, July. Yeah, then I went on vacation in Hungary with my family and when we came back in September that was when I felt like I became a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I really liked it at the beginning. It was such a fun experience. I had so much time to like, experience how I want to do things and what I really like in life because I had about like two hours every day just for myself while she was resting in her room. So I made so many researches on the internet and that what uh, led me actually to this to my next life change, which is I discovered this amazing zero waste lifestyle, which is really hard to like implement in your life. I know because I tried and I'm like not quite there yet. Actually, I made many changes. If you don't know what it is, I will link it below. Um, it's a movement. The um, the one who started it, it's called, he, she's called, sorry, Bea Johnson and she's living in San Francisco, United States but she's a French woman and she has a family and they are living like completely zero waste and it doesn't mean they are like recycling and upcycling everything they are, they are also trying to reduce the waste which I, I, I like this idea so much I was always a little bit like green-minded but I kind of gave up I think when I did my studies at university and I discovered why the teacher at climate change class was telling us that there is nothing to do and I actually didn't um, get this, that class right so I never passed the exam. I passed it but I failed which is crazy because I studied the most for that exam and I went to my university for this class. Anyway, I think the teacher was depressed or something. 
I'm not depressed anymore about climate change because I think this zero waste lifestyle is just amazing. So now I'm uh, trying to get plastic free and I stopped using so much stuff just on my own. I'm not trying to force my family really to follow my rules, but they are like slowly following me and transitioning at their... their... Okay, short find it nice. <clears throat> what I started to do or I, I started to follow vegan youtubers and look up vegan meal plans. I am not vegan. I was I used to be a very big meat eater, but when I found out about the environmental issues due to meal eating I kind of something clicked in my mind I don't know I just watched many YouTube videos I the video that really changed me was Kalal Kalal I don't know Kalal yeah Kalal's video about um, why why it's better not to eat animal products I will link it below if you are interested in it so same thing I didn't come completely vegan because I find it really hard and even though vegans say it's not extreme in the in, I think it is extreme it's an extreme change in your lifestyle because everywhere you see and every normal recipes there is all, or every well almost every recipe there is a, an animal product so I found it not hard but just time consuming and um, I need many efforts to look up vegan recipes and find the ingredients in shops. So I'm doing this. I managed I managed to eat vegan about five, five days a week, which is great. My goal is obviously to get to go seven days per week vegan, like almost completely. I really want to go completely vegan, but uh, I want it to be definitive lifestyle change so therefore I'm going quite slowly like easing into it <laughs> yeah workout I continue doing, doing workout I was for some years now I was a workout person like I, I work out three four times per week and this remained but now that I will get married this next July, the 7th of July, uh, 2060, sorry. <laughs> okay, I can believe I messed up the year of my wedding. I'm very, really excited about this wedding. I already have everything planned out and we booked the, uh, the photograph and the videograph and um, the wedding venue and we are now booking the DJ so yeah, slowly getting there. What did I want to say about it? Yeah, the workout routine. So I'm kind of doing like a bridal boot camp. It's a very, you can say, hmm, hard working routine because obviously I want to be at my best and I feel like I could be better even though I feel really good in my body right now. If I will just show you. I think this is really not bad considering the fact I had a baby but if I can get better I mean just a little bit more muscles maybe I would like to be more strong so that I can party through the whole night and stuff <laughs> yeah uh, style change I really really want to change my style I feel like it's not really me anymore I had this working woman mom style with pencil skirts and um, shirts and I, I feel just it's just not me anymore and it doesn't go good with my lifestyle neither because I go now to the playground almost every day I play around with my daughter I get dirty and I have like food stains on me and stuff so I really prefer to wear more casual clothes now which this is quite casual, like leggings and stuff, like comfy, big clothes. <laughs> and also, I want something more crazy. Like, I really like my red, red hair. I think it 
it's, it's just a beautiful color, especially when there is a little bit of sunshine and I cannot really see now in the dark. Yeah, it's better under the sunshine actually. But I want something crazy, I don't know, just a little bit of color maybe. I'm not quite ready yet to change the whole thing for blonde or something, although I would like to try blonde one day and Mikael said he's really interested into that. I mean for my hair to, to go blonde, but I want pink maybe, yeah. I definitely want a little bit of pink and someday I want blue hair so badly, yeah. What else? Yeah, the... sorry, I'm like cheating. Um, about my BPD, which is borderline personality disorder. Hmm. What to say? <laughs> I'm doing really bad. <laughs> it's just the, the beginning of like stay at home mom stage was cool. I just loved it. I did so much research. I went everywhere. I decluttered my home. I changed my lifestyle. I was playing with my daughter. Like everything was very positive and I had so much energy. But I think now the routine just kills me. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot go to the same playground anymore. I should change things up a little bit, but I don't feel the force, the force, the strength doing that. So I, I think I have major depression right now for a few weeks actually. That's why I started those um, mood diary videos to keep track of my feelings really. I hope I will get better. <laughs> Anyways, and this depression, this ca came despite the fact that I'm working out like three, four times per week, eating really healthy, not, but not like extremely um, vegan or something. I mean, I eat enough, not too much and not too little. I, I spend time, I feel like I, I'm trying to spend time in my style, but maybe this is also the stress of the wedding, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> this was my lifestyle change video. I don't know whether there is someone watching this, but if there is someone, thank you so much. Anyway, it was really fun. I was missing YouTube so much, so now I'm like, kind of one bit of my personality came back, even though almost nobody watched my videos. It just getting ready, getting pretty, and like trying to play around with lights and playground, everything like this. This kind of makes me feel like, like my life is about something, that I'm doing something that has a meaning, even though it's only speaking about my life, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this, I will just turn it off now. So yeah, I don't know whether there will be any more videos coming, there might be. I don't know, depends really on my depression and my BPD, whether I have this social anxiety and everything strengthened up. Maybe if it gets really worse, I, I won't do videos, obviously. We'll see. Yeah. Bye!